Before humans became the apex predators of the world several million years before, there walked monstrous creatures of both terrible size and stature known as dinosaurs. In the modern day though, the efforts made in paleontology and computer sciences we can now recreate with nearly photorealistic quality the probable build and design of such creatures from the distant past. The strange conclusion this has reached, however, is that perhaps these ancient creatures are not nearly as extinct as we claim them to be. Sightings of such artistic recreations pop up time and time again from around the world. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be analysing a few of these strange witnessed events and go over what we believe to be sightings of dinosaurs that have survived well into the modern day. The Partridge Creek Beast Often seen roaming throughout the area surrounding Partridge Creek, located in the Yukon Territory of Canada, there appears to be a number of sightings that detail the existence of a possible surviving Ceratosaurus dinosaur. First spotted back in 1903, two friends, James Lewis Butler and Tom Leemore, were hunting near Clear Creek when they claimed that both smaller animals and large moose were seen suddenly in rapid movement leaving the region that had been their hunting grounds. When they investigated the possible cause of the disturbance, they found evidence of large imprints in the ground that were more than five feet long and two and a half feet wide, with an imprint that looked similar to a massive tail having been dragged behind. Following the trail, the two hunters came to a deep rocky gorge and were too terrified to enter. After a period of time, they later met up with two other individuals and five unnamed Indian tribesmen and mounted a hunting expedition to locate the monstrous animal. After several hours, the team of nine men located the creature near a temporary campsite they had made during the expedition and claimed to have gotten a good look at it for ten minutes. They described the creature as being an all-black, bipedal dinosaur-like beast that was more than 50 feet in length. The creature would be sighted once again a few years later in 1907, when one of the members of the original hunting expedition would revisit the area back on the 24th of December in 1907. Pierre Lavagne claimed that when he revisited the region and tracked the creature once again, he had found it with a fully grown deceased caribou in its mouth. After spending some time studying the creature, he believed that the monster was a surviving member of the Ceratosaurus species. Many have claimed, however, that such a species would be unable to survive in the cold climate of the region unless it was a warm-blooded species. This has raised questions over whether or not dinosaurs were warm-blooded or cold-blooded and that if such a fossil could be found, it could prove once and for all whether or not dinosaurs were cold-blooded or warm-blooded. The River Lizards Cryptid Known in the cryptozoological circuit as the river lizards, these creatures seem eerily similar in design to their small theropod genus of dinosaurs of which has fossils commonly found near ancient riverbanks and dense jungle regions all around the world. These cryptid river lizards have claimed to have been sighted nearly anywhere where there exist secluded rivers and uninhabited mountainous jungles that see little to no human contact. With claims coming from the Amazon jungles, the Rocky Mountains of the United States, secluded regions of Africa and distant rivers of China to Siberia. According to a number of eyewitnesses, the river lizards seem to possess an extra flap of skin surrounding their neck that can be expanded outward when threatened, similar to how a peacock expands its feathers. A number of cryptozoological researchers have also made a connection between their sightings of the river lizards and another creature known as the mountain boomers cryptid of the Rocky Mountains and southwestern Texas. According to descriptions, the mountain boomers are another species of surviving dinosaur that resides within the mountains of the United States that are claimed to sleep inside caves or deep burrows and are capable of leaping great distances similar to that of a kangaroo while still possessing a design similar to that of the river lizards. There are many cryptid researchers that believe the two cryptids are one and the same, with sightings, descriptions and locations directly matching one another. The Atacama Raptor Sighting Back in 2004, a Spanish family visiting the Atacama Desert of Chile claimed to have seen a strange dog-like kangaroo creature, later dubbed the Atacama Raptor, that chased their vehicle as they made their way back to Arica. The Spanish family described the animal as appearing to stand at a little over six feet tall, sighted as running on its hind legs similar to a bipedal creature, possessing razor-sharp teeth and seemed to fit the description of a dinosaur-like bird closely resembling a large kangaroo. 
This has led many to support the idea that perhaps there is a direct descendant of an ancient raptor species that has survived well into the modern day. Though many researchers are scared to make such assumptions, as the sighting and reports have been few and far between, and the natural environment of the Atacama Desert is hardly capable of supporting large natural wildlife. If there are surviving raptor species, the creature would be similar in design to the modern-day ostrich, with its bipedal design and large bird-like body. Unfortunately, for a creature of that size to exist in the region, it would also need to possess a significantly large enough population to continue its numbers without any damage mutations in the species. It is for this reason that it is believed that the Atacama raptor must be an endangered species hidden across Chile in uninhabited regions across the country. Given the fact that the sightings of the creature are few and far between, many believe that perhaps the unknown species is already extinct, if it ever existed in the first place. The Loch Ness Monster and Plesiosaur Cryptozoological researchers into the Loch Ness Monster have made a number of interesting parallels with Nessie to that of the presumed to be extinct Plesiosaur dinosaur. Though many skeptics have rejected the idea that the Plesiosaur dinosaur could have survived the past few mass extinction events, there is plenty of indirect evidence for the possible survival of the species. Such examples are species from the era of the plesiosaur still around today, including shark species, as well as the plesiosaur prey, the vampire squid, of which was only recently discovered. Another interesting evolutionary note to add is that the plesiosaur did not actively hunt larger animals as was originally believed, with evidence of stomach contents found from fossilized remains that point towards the possibility of the plesiosaur being a bottom feeder eating small fish, clams, snails, and small squid that rested at the bottom of the sea. This eating habit would fit tremendously with the theorized feeding habits of Nessie, resting near the bottom of the loch and maintaining a lower depth compared to other marine animals. Plesiosaur stomach contents have also shown evidence of devouring the deep sea vampire squid species. The vampire squid was originally believed to have been extinct around the same time as the plesiosaur as past theories of the plesiosaur believed it to be a shallow water creature. However, research now shows the vampire squid species is still alive and rests at much lower depths today. This could point evidence towards the consensus that the plesiosaur would not have faced extinction issues with a reliable food source that evolved for deeper waters. The Mahamba Cryptid Mosasaurus Believed to be a possible surviving member of the Dinosuchus species, the Mahamba cryptid is described by witness accounts as being a massive 50-foot-long crocodile with elongated forearms and hind legs that allow the creature to run at speeds that can top more than 60 miles per hour. According to the myths traveling throughout the Democratic Republic of Congo, the creature is known to float in the rivers similar to that of a crocodile but will stay hidden underneath the waters until a large animal or boat passes overhead. It has been reported to have swallowed entire canoes whole and run onto the nearby shores to devour and attack any tribe passing by. The native tribes believe that the creature feeds on other large undiscovered species of monsters in the region and will usually stick to the deeper waters of the rainforest. The last known sighting of the Mahamba was back in 1930, with no additional sightings since then. Despite not seeing or encountering the monster for almost a hundred years, the native tribes still tend to ignore certain areas of the rainforest altogether in fear of potentially encountering the creature. Cryptid researchers have theorized that the Mahamba cryptid is a modern-day living descendant of the freshwater species known as the long-since extinct Mosasaurus. The Mosasaurus was an aquatic reptile that roamed the earth for 70 million years before it became extinct about 60 million years ago. The largest fossil ever recovered of the Mosasaurus places the creature at being 59 feet in length, matching the tails of the Mahamba. Marine biologists criticized this theory, however, as the Mosasaurus's size and history forced the creature to stay in the ocean, making it a saltwater species and not a freshwater species as reported in the Mahamba. In a startling discovery completely unexpected by marine biologists back in 2012, Paleontologists uncovered the remains of a freshwater adapted descendant of the Mosasaurus, believed to have first evolved 80 million years ago. Not only did this find completely rewrite the expected extinction timeline of the creature, but is now cited by cryptid researchers as supporting evidence of the Mahamba and its connection to the Mosasaurus.
But what do you all think of these strange and unexplainable sightings of prehistoric creatures existing well into the modern day? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.